We're here at Wacker Noisen's U.S. headquarters in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, and the weather's starting to cool down, so we are starting to think about snow removal. The WL28 from Wacker Noisen, our small wheel loader, is great for tons of all year round loader applications. But if you're gonna put it into snow service for the snow removal season, uh, and you're planning on running a broom or a snow blower on this machine, there's a couple different travel and work mode options that you have that are adjustable inside the cab that can be adjusted to the operator's preference and to your application preference. So in this video, we're gonna show you a few different ways you can operate this WL28. Before we get started with the specifics of the different drive modes, let's just cover a couple of basics on the joystick and speed selection, etc. So on your joystick right here, your forward, neutral, reverse directions are just right here on your joystick. Located right underneath that control is the two-speed switch. That's your low range, high range, or turtle rabbit, if you want to call it that. And then on the front side of the joystick is your proportional auxiliaries. You're also gonna fire off your continuous flow auxiliaries by giving it a go command on that switch as well. And in order to activate your continuous flow auxiliaries, you've got in this bank of switches here, this switch located right here. It's a Roman numeral three with an arrow going around it. That means third circuit continuous flow. So now let's talk about getting started and what the different drive and work modes do. The reason that we want to know how the different work modes operate is that it's going to be depending on the type of work you're doing, your particular application, and your particular work preference. The machine's fully hydrostatic, so all the oil that the entire system is using is supplying oil to the travel drive, the work group, and the auxiliary hydraulics. So understanding that these different modes operate differently, they allow you some flexibility to help you operate in a comfortable and efficient manner. So let's start out with the most basic mode, which is auto mode, which is, let's just call that your standard operating mode. So when operating in auto or eco mode, when I want to run a continuous flow attachment, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually activate that third circuit continuous flow. And we do that by pressing this switch in the cab here. I've got a flashing green indicator. I'm then going to select my direction of work and that will lock in continuous flow. So when I've got my flashing button there, it's waiting for my command. I select the direction of flow. Now, when I pull the trigger on the front side of the joystick, the system is idle and waiting. And on another joystick pull, I've got continuous flow. Now, what I need to do when running this attachment is give it some oil flow. So in auto mode, if I want to run more oil to the attachment, I need to increase engine RPMs with my right foot pedal, which I'm doing now and I'll have to modulate travel speed by using my inch braking pedals. When you're in auto or eco mode and you just wanna run it simply two-footed, you've gotta supply oil to the attachment and you do so with your right foot pedal, so your accelerator pedal. I'm speeding up the engine and now I put the machine in forward drive and I have to drive with my left foot. So by easing off that inch braking pedal, I will now get to see some movement from the machine and same in reverse. Now, that's probably not ideal for a long working period with the continuous flow attachment. I'm probably gonna want to have some assistance from the machine. That's why we offer you some different modes. So in auto or eco mode, if you wanna give your feet a break, uh, I would prefer to run it using the manual throttle control and the speed limiting lever right here. And how you do that is like so. So the manual throttle control is pretty simple. That's going to be using this lever for engine speed control rather than your left foot. And then your, man your manual speed control level is lever it's right here. Put the machine in forward travel drive. I'm going to increase the speed on the speed limiter until I get some motion and then I can adjust my travel speed up and down using just that hand lever. 
Because the WL28 is such a versatile machine, we also have one additional operation mode, and that is called attachment mode. And if I was gonna be running a broom or a snowblower, that would probably be the mode in which I would choose to operate, because it's gonna constantly supply oil to your attachment, and you're controlling your travel drive speed fully with your right foot pedal. So how you do that is to put the machine in attachments mode. So I got the park brake on, machine in neutral, I'm going to over to attachments mode. Attachments mode requires that I use the manual throttle control. So I will increase engine RPMs using the manual throttle control. I'll select my travel drive direction there. And now my right foot pedal is gonna simply, that's my speed control, is how much I'm putting on my right foot pedal. So this is a really great mode for running spinning attachments like this because it's always going to prioritize oil to your attachment and one of the great things about attachment mode is that it allows you to control the speed of your rotational attachment but have full control of travel speed always on your right foot it's always adjustable using your right foot now we're in turtle or low speed range right now so we're going really really slowly but it works also in the high range as well so i've got full travel speed adjustment that i can do while maintaining oil flow priority to the attachment. For more information on the WL28 or the rest of the Wacker Neusen product lineup, or to find your local dealer, visit us at wackerneusen.com today.